My name is Aram. Welcome to God's Fall. God's Fall is a custom Dungeon and Dragons campaign in an original world that is written, played, recorded, and produced in Washington, D.C. Hi, I'm Steven. I'm playing Torpic Wild Tongue, the level 4 dwarf paladin. Hi, I'm Doug. I'm playing Doro Knot, the level 4 halfling rogue. Hi, I'm Michael. I'm playing Zion Preeton, a level 4 human sorcerer. Hi, my name's Kelly, and I play Rena Falaval, a level 4 wild elf ranger. <laughs> Last week on God's Fall. So you guys see that they have set up camp and it is dusk rapidly approaching night. So they've clearly set up camp for the evening. Some bonfires are going up, tents have gone up and they're apparently waiting until dawn. Okay, so there's an army out there. Yes. So the thing that has me most concerned is that quite obviously now this whole tower was made just for our benefit. Like, whoever made this thing is here testing us for some reason. As the players pondered this world that had been created for them, several new miniatures appeared on the large circular map, including a well-known soldier from Ani. <laughs> she has Bredic's piece in her hand, and she shrugs, and boom, place it right down on the tower, and Bredic up here. He just there. He is in rags. His beard is long. His eyes are sullen and empty. His hands have big red raw marks around the wrists and he has those same raw marks around his ankles. And he looks up at you guys and he sees you and he fumbles and he starts moving away and he has his hands up and he, he looks terrified. Brannick. Soon after Brannock's arrival, the players summoned Ottomiel who arrived with a second wild elf in tow, Rena Falaval. After some questioning from Zion, Adamiel explained what happened with Cebu and the jars containing magic blue mud that was somehow used to track their every move. We are a trusting people. He stole it and left. So you guys are after him now? We had taken him. And as soon as we had taken him, you brought us here. Satisfied with Ademiel's explanation, Zion attempted to describe the scene around them and then walked the pair of wild elves through the technique of merging their divinities. So, by the way, just mm -hmm. in case you want to know, we are either in a pocket dimension or got transferred somewhere far away, who knows, but we were inside the Union and we saw like a, uh, what's it called, a little a board and that's where we put put ourselves on it and that's how we You can show the board, it's right there. Well, it's not the exact board we were in. We were in, a, we were in an empty room. Yeah that we had traveled through through four different rooms and explained about the water and explained about, and uh, you know, it, it was always very specific to our divinities to try to get us up there. So- And we, each room was made after a god or gods. Yes. In fact, as he's explaining this, he gestures towards the front walls of this keep and lined along these interior walls are the god of travel and the god of war, both reaching out towards the front gate. Yeah. Okay, so we all clasp hands and everybody mm -hmm. focus your energies on Doro. True. No, you've never done yeah, this before. Yeah, I was like, never done that so, before. So, uh, and nor though, nor is Autumn. Oh, oh, you haven't done this before. Yes, there's only been two of you. We found out that we can combine our divinities and be more powerful than any one of us could ever be. And if we focus our energies all together on one of us, then we're able to do something truly spectacular. Like, for instance, uh, teleport 10 miles. Autumn turns to you and an elven, and they wonder why we were watching them. <laughs> <laughs> Crafting a plan to teleport into the middle of the enemy camp and distract the army while Doro and Torvik slip between enemy catapults, sabotaging them, the party quickly ran into some bad luck. Now you rolled well, right? Yeah, like a 21. So you go to fire at this orc and you let go of your bow and a second later your eyes widen as a sparrow crosses the path of your arrow. So you strike Torvik in the side, in the wing, he goes spiraling down and slams into the dirt right about here. He'd be going as the other orcs, way. Oh, sorry. Right about, she shoots him in the arm. <laughs> right on, right on, right on. And he- No, he has to get hit. No. He, he basically augers into the dirt and is immediately gone because there's just a sea of orcs and ogres and whatever. He's just gone. Oh, 
killed Torvik. All right. Did we kill him? <laughs> Torvik's turn. We don't know. You know, you, uh, uh, perception rolls. All of us? Yeah. No. Mm. 17. Yeah, we haven't except you because you're way in the other direction. Catapult. Yeah, you will hear a, a roar, some sort of beast, and you hear orcs <laughs> screaming <laughs> shortly afterwards, and torches are flailing about and shit. So you can assume he's not dead. You got like a 20 something. Yeah. That, that gets anything yeah. better. Oh, you <laughs> definitely hear the roars of a grizzly bear. You know exactly which bear it is. Okay. Yeah. All right, um, Goro. All right, if I freed myself. From yeah, think just one little cut, but you're like, ah, 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 and there's like a big delicious. short spot, like a round spot right here in the top of your head. Yeah. yeah, you know what? That only affects the fan art, my friend. I've, I've, <laughs> when I get home, I'll just shave all this shit off my head. Yeah. I don't give a shit. There you go. They're the ones that put it on my head. <laughs> um, I need to disable this thing somehow. Mm -hmm. Can I find one investigation? the base fulcrum point in the front of the fucking catapult. You can add your disabled, uh, what is your, what's the modifier bonus for this? Because with disabled device, you get double modifier. So add another two to that. So now it's 21. Okay, so you're inside the machine and you're watching where all the points fit. And the clearest point of failure here is gonna be the tension system of the ropes. You can see where they're all wound around. You, you could either cut through all of them, cut through where they're tensioned, or just plop oil on the thing and light and light it up. But it draw attention. Or you could teleport away the fulcrum. Or you could teleport away a giant chunk of it. In fact, but you're pretty if I, sure. But if I disable the tension system from within the machine, that's going to be a lot harder to find because they're looking from the outside into a machine. Well, it depends how tension. much tension you remove. If you were to teleport away the log holding the whole rope, the, the, the machine will immediately release all of that tension and probably tear itself apart because it won't have anything to keep oh, it together. Yeah, so it depends what you smart. do. Yeah. These are loaded already. They're already winched They're winched back and right. ready. So whatever you do to disable it is going to release tension one way or the other. Okay. Can I cut the ropes to the point of which you need but like a sturdy jerk to break it through the rest of the way. Ah. And then tie my... Roll iron. intelligence. Why am I smarter than my character? God <laughs> damn it. Um, well, but this is going to work anyway, so 19. Yeah, you're pretty good with you're pretty good with ropes, so you think you know what you're doing here. And if you, you think you, if you cut this one rope just down to the end, yeah. that when they do go to release it, it'll snap. That's yes, the thing. exactly. That's exactly. Yeah, you're cause, basically cause setting up it traps. Does that, it's yeah. working against its own tension. Yep. So if you get, if you just weaken it to the point, it'll fall apart when they do it. You're basically setting a bunch of traps now. It's going to take you three rounds to do this to each so one you're in. Ten total for each. Yeah. So it takes three per. Three per. Three, six, and nine. So I have an extra round to work with, or mm, yes, basically. Okay. Yeah. So well, no, you no, you blew time. that first round when you were cutting your hair Based off. My hair, right. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna try what I failed last time, and uh, the guy that I already have, I'm going to shoot him across the air into his fellow work. Where you want to do constitution, mm -hmm. right? So that's sixteen. That works. You see. Zion kind of, his eyes flare, and this guy that he's like, kind of like fighting with goes up about 10 feet into the air and then jerks violently to the right as he hurls him. Uh, roll dexterity to strike the other one. Right. Oh, no, five. Okay, so it's clumsy though, and the other one sees him coming and is able to kind of step out of the way as he smashes to the ground before him. Snapping his neck, One face down. first into the dirt. Yeah, <laughs> okay. uh, be gone. All right, Para. Para is maintaining the fire here, forcing these guys to come around the side. Okay. This one comes around and goes for Ademiel. <laughs> it's not their turn yet, but yeah. Oh, sorry. Well, he's going to go for Ademiel. Right, right. Yeah. Actually, now it is their turn. No, perfect. <laughs> All right, so they so they're going around the side. This one lunges in, and Brannick steps up to meet him. That's gonna hit. Brannick's very angry. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Yep. He just steps up, takes his head clean off, just boom, and then just plop, 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 and rolls off to the side. So that one is gone. A little blood. No. Nope. <laughs> uh, this one's going to charge you. Mm -hmm. He is going to try and strike you with a sword. Oh, dear. Yep. And he misses you. So he clumsily misses you and is there. Uh, this one's going to get within range. This one's going to charge up. This one's going to attack you. Mm. He comes in for you. And is a 26 gonna hit you? <laughs> yeah, maybe a little. <laughs> yeah, so he comes in, stabs you with a short sword. You take five as it sinks into your left shoulder. <laughs> yeah. Ow. You're also now seeing 
a couple ogres are coming in too for the party. Automil, uh, let me see, he's going to, from right here, he's gonna shoot, shoot, shoot. Thanks. Mm, missed this one. Hit that one. Hit that one. <coughs> dead. Dead. I'm saved. Through the head, through the head. Both of these two are dead. That one's still coming. Just missed him, kind of grazed his ear. All right. Uh, I guess since it's the top of the round, that was then Brannock get, get, does get an action, because he'd held action, mm -hmm. and then that was the last round. Yep. So Brannock's just going to turn right around and take out this one that's coming for you. That's going to hit. Nine plus six, that's going to take him out. That one is dead, too. Rena. Uh, I'm going to shoot for that one. Uh, 14 to hit. Yep, that definitely hits him. Awesome. Five plus... It's a long bow, so six. Yeah. Eight, oh! 11. Right into the throat and just... And, and crumples down. I did something. Okie dokie, Torvik. You just, you're hearing snarling, but you're not seeing anything. It's just a cloud, basically. All right. Oh. Uh, he needs to get invisible again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Doro. Same thing. All right. Uh, give me a concentration to focus on the next one. Constitution, I guess. Constitution to focus on the next one. Uh, six. Okay. <laughs> you peer inside it, right? And you're like, you know, like, <clears throat> and the edge of the back of your jacket has appeared like in some of the wood. And you're like, ah. And you have to, <sighs> You kind of just tear yourself free of it. Actually, you, you don't even need around this. This one, you just pull forward and rip a hole in the back of your it's coat. Anyway. I know, I know. I'm just, I'm just kind of and you start to just disable the machines. Right. I don't just, care. You're just cursing to yourself <laughs> and like yes. cutting through the ropes. Yeah. <laughs> it's fun, but this isn't fun. And now it's not. <laughs> Excellent. All right, so I am going to reach out with my. No, sorry. I'm going to reach out with my divinity. I'm going to grab that one, mm -hmm. and I'm going to throw him at that guy. Nice. Uh, no, got a nine. All right, so you, you grab him and you've got him, but you can't quite lift him. It, it always seems to take like a second for you to really focus your atoms, whatever the fuck you're doing around the guy. Yeah. Midichlorians, yeah. Yeah, yes, okay. all your midichlorians. <laughs> all right, um, <laughs> Para. I'm sorry, okay, Para has this flame focus, but he sees these guys coming around here, so he's gonna shift it a bit around to the side. All right, so he, re he turns the horseshoe around to block those. Okay, uh, beasties. Okay, beasties are going to attack them. Oh, no, I think they're going to sit down and read. Yeah, Yay! that's what they're going to do. Right, Story so time. They psychoanalyze each other. They're going to break around to the sides. What about my life? <laughs> what about my choices? Are coming in behind Why these do I guys. eat like this? <laughs> this guy's coming around here, and this guy's charging straight in. And one guy comes uh. up and says, I'll show you how to be a rogue. <laughs> All right, have you ever seen uh, an ogre before? No, probably not. They're not in your woods, but you've yeah. heard tale of these. They're yeah. about roughly, they're you know, 12 feet tall, lumbering beasts, but quicker than you would have expected someone so, mus so muscular and top heavy to be. Mm -hmm. And you can smell them before he even gets to you. Ugh. He has a giant <laughs> club, basically, and he's coming just to swing at you. No. <laughs> Seven's not going to hit you. Swings wildly. Remember, your luck power, by the yeah. way, that you can use whenever you want, oh, including right. to have someone miss you, right? Because right? you That's have nice. the luck ability too. Yeah. So, he, well, how it works is that um, she has the luck feat. So she has three luck die per long rest. Encounter. Right. So she, basically, rest. she can say uh, he has to roll disadvantage right now, mm -hmm. or I get to roll advantage on this roll, and that's her luck ability that she can control in addition to just her overwhelming luck with her die. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So her power is not as flashy as your guys is. It's just more of this constant thing that exists in her. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, so he swings wildly and just slams his club down between the two of them. No. Any other beasties? No, they just all have to reposition. Oh, well, actually, no, this one. This one goes Well, he's, he's grappled. Oh, that he one's the grappled one. OK, well, then never mind. Just push him into the fire decks route. <laughs> Swish. Just hold him in it. As he very slowly. <laughs> 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 the fire starts turning black. The bear starts cackling. <laughs> wow. You say I'm bad. I know, I know, I know. They're only pissed because you're not going to be evil enough. <laughs> Whose turn is it? All right, Automil. All right, Automil is refocusing his attention certainly on you, so he's going to fire an arrow 
He's, he's just gonna fire, he's just took a, a step to the side, he's gonna fire all three into that because his concern is keeping you safe. <laughs> that was his, that's what he was tasked with and that's what he's gonna do. Yay, I'm part of his duty. Hit. <laughs> Hit. Hit. <laughs> yep. Dead. No, not dead, what? but, you know, shunk, 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 just right up his side, like, like with an automatic weapon, like, right, <laughs> yeah. you know, that kind of It's two pattern. in the heart, one in the head, man. Yeah. Get it right. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, he does some serious damage <laughs> to him, so it's like shunk, 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 and it stumbles back five feet and seems to refocus on Ademiel, but is not down. All right, um, Brannick. All right, Brannick is, well, Brannick's, because he's just going to charge straight forth. Yay. Yep. Everyone just helping me out. Mm hmm. Hit. Yeah. Okay. So he charges forth and sinks his sword deep into into the creature's side. It, and now its attention is very firmly planted on him. Oh, not dead yet. Not dead yet. Not okay. down. It's either. a big old creature. Yeah. Mm hmm. All right. Um, Rena. Move so that like I'm like and then I'm gonna take a shot. At mm -hmm. this. You're at point blank range. Yeah. Now that means. Doesn't that mean something? Yeah. With bows? Yeah. You get a bonus or something, no, right? Never used a bow. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. Giant killer would have been helpful right now. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's just, okay, it's a large creature. I'm gonna make up a rule here. A large creature at point blank range is going to give you a much bigger target to fire at. Would we agree? Yeah, so so I missed point blank range on a creature one size category or larger than you, you get advantage when you roll. Fair enough. Would always be him. Always. Well, no, no, he's medium. In the new book, he's still medium size, just like the rest of you. Gotcha. So, yeah. Yeah, you're not small but anymore. But I can move through people's size categories that are bigger than me, which Correct. has included medium people. When mm -hmm. I when I broke Your out of jail size with category Corbett, or larger is how the rule reads. Uh, yeah, that's why you can yeah. do it. Your size category or larger, you're not small anymore. It was it freaks me out too, but you're a medium sized uh, creature. You take up a five foot block except for the times when you choose not to because you can move through their legs and shit. But you're still medium, so. That's weird. All right. All right. So they have to be at least an ogre size and larger for you to be able to do really this. really big dice. Oh. <laughs> okay, well. Um, Nine plus six. Yeah. 15? Yeah. Yep, that's definitely gonna hit. Awesome, and it's below its health, so I get to do the extra. Yeah, she is definitely below its health. Okay, so seven mm -hmm. and five plus the six. So seven, what, 12? 19. Uh, yeah? Okay, 19. So just, like, <laughs> she, like, everyone else has hit it and stabbed it and gone for it. It pulls up its club again and she just steps right up in front, raises the bow, shunk, right between the eyes. It stumbles backwards and collapses with a thud. If, it shot, if she shot it right between the eyes, mm -hmm. it probably was like, because it went blind <laughs> like that. Right. And then it just kind of fell. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. All right, Torvik, we don't know. Dora. Rawr, graffle. I'm doing my thing again. How many? That was Wait, it, Wait, one, right? two, three. Third, so you Bing. can move on this So one. you cut it. Well, you don't quite cut it. You cheek, and cheek, cheek. It. And like, ee, creak. And you hear like everything creak and kind yeah. of reshuffled. And like I, the ropes one. shift. You know, oh, but it's fine. Okay. Zoom. Yeah. <laughs> Concentration. Constitution. Damn Constitution. it. Constitution. <laughs> 17. Yeah. So you're zoom and you're directly in, into the next one. But this time I'm like. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <sighs> All right. And the next the round you can start cutting. And then it's three rounds of that, right? Correct. Okay. Okay. Uh, sauce, sauce, sauce. I am going to um, throw a force projectile at the guy I've got grappled through the fire back. Just sort of it's gonna push him back. Obi Wan Kenobi yeah. through the fire. That's gonna be a little bit easier. Roll concentration. Uh, roll constitution. <laughs> God <laughs> one damn it. Wow. <laughs> no, roll. Eighteen. Yeah. So you can you push him back into the fire and hold him there? No, I'm not doing that. I'm not a torturer. But okay. I'm throwing him through the fire and just force projecting him back. All right. So you push so him back. Like literally and, just right, throwing right, the so, guy. Boom, so he and goes he will through be like, the you fire. Know, yeah. well, I mean, even if you bit. if you're thrown through fire that fast. Mm -hmm with force around you, yeah, you actually wouldn't touch you. So he gets thrown through the fire and like collapses backwards and like rolls a little bit. So he's bruised yeah. up, but you know, it wasn't that fine. Well, then we already discussed uh, that the, the, the damage. It's like a 3d6. Oh, you're referring with 
Real force. Okay, yeah. yeah. Well, go ahead and roll then three to six. Plus one. Yeah, that's sorry. I didn't realize you how far yeah, and how hard you were throwing him. Yes, correct. Okay, so 11. Yeah, that'll um, do it. So you just curl him back through the fire and he slams down onto the ground unconscious. Excellent. Okay, Para. Needs to shift that fire again. Yes, he does. <laughs> okay. Oh, he's got some decisions to make, though. Uh, he's going to have to put it this way because he's more worried about the big guy. Only to protect your flank. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, he's doing the best he can. All right. So he rolls it over here to keep these guys away. This one, yeah, fails his roll and is caught on fire. It's out. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Stop dropping rolls. <laughs> Except he doesn't. I feel like he's not smart enough in that. Right, right. Well, okay. Uh, so Run we're... faster and we'll flail your arms. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> All right, beasties. Okay, well, these guys, I'm on fire, I'm on fire. Ah! You're gonna run past them. Gloom, gloom, gloom. Charge, 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 charge. Oh no! Okay, so <laughs> these two are gonna swing it out of me with swords. That's gonna miss. That is gonna miss. So Automil just, boom, boom, just like is moving so quickly they can just step out of the way of the weapons coming towards him. Almost, he's almost a blur at this mm -hmm. point. Uh, two of them swing at Para. Yeah. That's gonna hit. That's gonna hit. Mm -hmm. So yeah. they both charge in, and one drives a sword into his shoulder. Another one slashes at his leg. Yeah. Wow. The next yeah. god of fire is an okay. orc. <laughs> now he so he takes. I mean, it goes deep into his shoulder. A huge gash is opened up on his leg. Blood is gushing from it, and he cries out. But the fire flickers for a second, but he's able to maintain it. He's, he's able to keep the wall up. Mm. But he's hurt badly. All right, Automil. And there's still a, you know, there's two, orc, two orcs on him, you know. Yeah. Automil, he's going to take a step backwards. Fire, fire, just right down the, right down the line. Hit. 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 Dead. Awesome. Dead. There's a one. So dead, dead, <laughs> and then like strikes this one in the shoulder, but he's not he's not out yet. All right, uh, yeah. Brannock. Brannock is going to clean this up. Awesome. Oh, but no, uh, trips on like a clump of dirt or something and like just swings wildly over the thing's head or went for it as the arrow hit it and it stumbled back and his sword just cleaves over the top, yeah. All right, uh, Rena. Okay, so I'm gonna turn around and deal with para issues. So I'm gonna go for the one straight. Nice. Going. No, they don't 12. Hit. Yep, that hit. Okay, cool. That one's at full health, so it doesn't get the thing. So two, six, eight. Mm -hmm, that's enough, actually. Cool. Oh! Torvik's doing whatever. Doro. This is round two, right, on this one? Or round one on this one? I have two more rounds. Gotcha. All right, cool. All right. <laughs> Don't saw, you saw, touch saw, him! Saw, saw, saw. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Boyfriend rage! All right. No, That'll hit. Oh, yeah. Oh, you are you are fully concentrated on, on him. Not For a, some reason, not the a power problem. comes out rainbow color. <laughs> 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 you are very well focused. Uh, roll me a perception. Uh, yeah, that'll do it. You see two guys coming up behind, two more orcs like running right next to each other coming right towards you. Are they holding hands too? Sure, why not? <laughs> Let's get a orc boyfriend. <laughs> oh, why we can't kill them. <laughs> like, like, just because they're gay? There's yeah, No, them. because they're orcs and they're gay. How many of those do you think there are on the Look, fucking planet? Homosexuality happens throughout all forms of nature. There's Absolutely. plenty of evil queens. So. I know, the last so thing we want to do is wipe out the fucking dodos. Why the hell would you want to kill these two? Well, in that case, I'm going to uh, force him. him Force yeah. him back into these you know? two. Yep, you hurl him back, roll the, well, that's the damage. So you All kill right. him, and a body is like thrown at their feet. <laughs> <laughs> this one jumps over, this one trips and falls face first into his dead friend. <laughs> oh, or at least his, at least his comrade. His dead comrade, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, Para. Para? When do you start making easy. sanity checks for the orcs? Who are these people? Yeah, no. Sure. Well, I mean, they haven't really reacted in fear at all, so you're not sure what's going on. But I'm they're not even convinced this is real. So, right. like, yeah. like, no. This is why I'm not too worried about killing. 
until we find out later, you killed my family. Right. <laughs> yeah, now we gotta go to the orc, orc orphans. <laughs> yeah, we have to tell all the orc yeah. wives that they killed all their husbands. Whole, there was this, this is the bitch yeah. of Stormgate. They were just <laughs> about. <laughs> They were just about to over to overthrow the grand tyrant that had lived on the hill and tortured them. This was the them. rebellion. Yeah, this was the rebellion. No! And all of a sudden, these assholes showed up and started magic killing everybody. No! Okay, uh, he rolled this over here. This one's going to charge him. Oh, no, this one is the one. That, so, yeah, this one cleared the body and is charging him. Me. You, sorry. Yes. No, actually, no, he wouldn't because this guy's closer. So he's going to charge Paris. No, Paris, no, Paris yeah. already Paris feeling Paris the heat. Again. Yep. Thank you. And he misses. <laughs> Paris is able to just dodge out of the way as there's like an orc on top look. of him. He yeah. also has a... Got near he also has yeah, a... That's exactly <laughs> rolled into your luck field. The first couple of them was like 19, 20. <laughs> probably the one. And there's still the one at Brannock. Oh, right, right. So this one's still at Brennick, so he's just going to like go for Brennick's neck. Yes. Brennick just Dang. easily okay. deflects that. Cool. No, no problem. Okay, out of minute. Yo, help uh, brother out. One, two, three. Misses that one. Okay. Misses this one. Hits that one. Uncharacteristic brought Brennick, dead. It's like, so as Para's like, oh, he's <laughs> dead. Dead. All right, um, Brennick. He's got it. He's got this. Oh, yeah. That is a cool. 19. Yeah. So he just kind of uh, twists his sword. The thing clumps down. He draws, you know, a boot against the chest, draws the sword out. He is covered in orc blood at this point. He kind of wipes it away from his eyes. So there's this, like, white in the middle of his, like, a torch-lit face that's just soaked in orc blood. <laughs> All right. Your <laughs> Read <him. laughs> Okay. I'm going to turn around and strike that person. Okay. Uh, 21. Yeah. Okay. That'll hit. Okay. Aiming for the orc? Yeah. Yeah, gotcha. Because I don't want that thing running at me just yet. No, fair enough. <laughs> okay, seven. Yeah, that's enough, actually. Okay. I'll actually kill it. So, <laughs> and it collapses to the ground as well. They only, they only have six hit points. So, okay, so this one's going to, well, some of them. Some of them have six, some of them have 18. It's it depends what kind they are. Yeah. They don't have yeah. Seven Those don't have six hit points. Six, 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 six. <laughs> so, as you do that, you see now that. Other orcs are gathering, but they're all kind of just making a circle. They've got their weapons out, but they're not approaching. Even this one stops for a sec. And it's... And you guys hear a howl off to the side. Perception rolls. Uh, 20, you definitely 70? see it. <laughs> yeah. 27. 13. Pushing its way through the orcs, knocking them to the side, is a cyclops. Much larger than anything you've been seeing so far, coming right for you guys. Okay, uh, in my studies of mythical beasts, mm -hmm. uh, uh, in uh, whatever is that place is, I could not. Roll intelligence. Should I, yeah. Can I roll nature? Yeah, sure. Yes. Nope, no, 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 no. Oh, that didn't mean any good. Five. Oh, Anamil knows. Uh, Anamil's, well, Anamil's is like, they have poor eyesight. <laughs> we can make it poor. <laughs> <laughs> Called shots. Okay. <laughs> okay, then Automail. Okay, Automail is going to do exactly what he just said he was going to do and fire three shots right towards the Cyclops' eye. Damn it. His first shot, shunk, right into the thing's eye. Of course, does full damage. So you see a blinded Cyclops now hurling about, smashing his own people. So. Smash dead, smash dead as he's roar. Well, that helped us. Yep, that sure did. Destroy the siege equipment because it seems like we're just gonna wipe. No, because there, there are thousands of these things. Right, there, could, this right. is just I the mean, first. Like, this, this has been <laughs> some fucking earnest goes yeah. to camp shit this going is, on here right now. This is the beginning. I thought this was a siege. This Jesus is, Christ, is, you people. You appeared in the middle of an open clearing. People are still scrambling to get their weapons and pull an armor, but in about a two rounds, maybe three rounds, this is going to get much worse and much thicker. So you have to move as fast as you can. Yeah. Uh, all right, Brannock. Brannock is going to hold action until someone gets within range of danger. Okay. All right, uh, Rena. Try and shoot for the eye, I guess, again. Well, there is an arrow in the eye okay. cur currently, and he's right. currently blinded and stumbling about. All right, well, he I'm seems try disabled. And hit. Okay. Yeah. I'm just going to try and hit him because. Fair enough. He needs to stay okay. back. That's right. <laughs> uh, 14. I believe that'll hit him. Yep, that hits him. Awesome. He's been hit already. So oh, yeah. Two. He's definitely, definitely Six. wounded. 
19. Okay, so you put one like really deep into its left shoulder and you hear raw, and he's just like raw, flailing about and smashing the ground around him. <laughs> Nicely done. <laughs> All right, Torvik's doing whatever he's doing. So nice raw, Grog Law. Uh, Doro, take, okay. take one. Uh, all right, I'm going to reach out with my divinity and grab that um, arrow and force it into his brain. Oh, Jesus Christ, Yay. okay. <laughs> I want you to roll concentration first. Constitution. Constitution, god damn it. <laughs> 14. 14. 14's enough, yeah. I want you to I want you to roll strength, because he's got his hand around it. So now you're gonna oppose well, roll your Is it wisdom? Is that what we even want? Your power comes from your charisma, correct? That's how uh, uh sorcerers are powered. No, we've all been doing wisdom. Right, but sorcerers are powered by their charisma. Yeah, by yes. charisma, yes. 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 So in this opposed power check, I want you to roll your charisma versus his strength. Seventeen, beat a seventeen. Oh wait, a plus, plus six. six. Yeah. But I have to beat seventeen. So you have to beat a. a oh, poorly. Yay. Oh, yeah. it's so <laughs> soaked in blood. He doesn't really have a firm grip on it, and you just see it. Bit, <clears throat> it just vanish from his hands. He failed a Constitution. A check. You see, you see, like twitch, twitch, <laughs> and just. <clears throat> Boom, and he's dead. He killed a fucking Cyclops in two <laughs> rounds. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's going to be some XP. Hera uh, Hera just focuses for a she second. Yeah. And he puts his hand onto his. Like, 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 he, he, he puts one hand onto the arrow in his chest. He's able to keep the wall up, but it kind of fades a little bit, like it goes a little bit. Up. Uh, thinner because he's in two places at once. Mm -hmm. You see the arrow go red hot, burst into a flame, and the wound is healed by the time like it just falls into ashes in his hand. The other one is still not healed yet. He's, right. he's still wounded on his leg, but he has healed somewhat. All right, beasties. All right, they are still grouping. <laughs> Slamming shields, you know, and getting in a tight horseshoe around this open flame area. And you can hear some roar, boosh, boosh. Another Cyclops, another Cyclops, and two more Ogres inbound. So, Adamu. Hit. Miss. Hit. He's going to make the horseshoe slightly smaller. Yeah, exactly. That's what he's trying to do. He's trying to, like, you know, just take out a few of their numbers, and then that. Okay, so he just takes that one out and takes that one out, dead and dead. I mean, they're just going to re I mean, There's just more of them coming, but, you know. <laughs> you got to try to keep them at bay. Yeah. So, Brennick. Uh, again, Barbarian's going to move to the front and hold action for the first one that comes in. Okay. Because they're doing a good job at keeping this circle. Hold the line, hold the moving. line! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Para, turn the fire out. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely going to turn the fire around. Um, I'm going to just go for that one. Oh! Why? Oh, Why do you do this? Because you're the god of luck, <laughs> and you're going to roll a one once in a while. Uh, that's All right. the third one today, though. All right, so you went to fire for that one, and you pulled back, and you just, you just, you just, you just slipped off the bow and yeah. cuts deep into your finger as your, as your arrow uh, almost snaps. Ow. So you lose five points, and you have this Ow. huge gash, this huge bleeding gash in your in your hand, you're at disadvantage with your bow until that's healed. Mm. Hey, I know you're hurting really bad. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> my finger keeps healing. <laughs> Torvik, who knows what he's doing? Dorm. Mm -hmm. You can move on this one. Is this this is now a move action? Yep. Yeah. That Bing. was the last. Yep. So you yeah. cut that lead like uh, I, I, again everything like shifts really dramatically and you huh, huh, but it holds. So roll concentration. Tushin. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was gonna fix it because he paused when I. Yeah. No, I was waiting for you to oh, say yeah, yeah, it. Yeah, I was yeah. paying attention. It's like oh, I'll do it. I guess. Roll, cons <laughs> roll constitution. Uh, six. Six. Okay. Not so, again. All right. So I'm getting stuck in the fucking catapult, yeah. Doro. Okay. So <laughs> you appear and you're like, <clears throat> and your dagger is like buried four inches into the wood behind you, and you just can't pull it free. Mm. Or you have a second one. Oh, the lions of Bessa, alas. Yeah. Right. <laughs> oh, that's uh, right. You really want to pull this free? Yeah. No. I. I mean, but that's. 
Well, I'm disabling last one differently. It's not going to take me three rounds to turn this one off. All right, well then, what are you going to do about and, your dagger? And because it's at the end of the line, right. draw their attention that way, so then I can start going back towards the other ones to see if Torvik's even doing his fucking job. Makes sense. Right. And if that was a move action, the rest of my action, I'm just taking to get the dagger out of the fucking... Roll strength. Okay, a 17. Okay, so you could put like... <laughs> not what I was expecting, you actually. Put, like both your feet up on it, you're like... Thunk, and it just comes free. Roll dex. No, I want to hit my head. Can I just hit my head? <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes. So yeah, you pull no, it I want that to happen. Whack, you just crack your head <laughs> on like, the support beam behind you. Take one point of uh, temporary damage, of subdual damage, but you got your dagger free. All right, I am going to... I hate to be a one-note wonder, but... Uh, if it works. It's, it's effective, <laughs> although you could be casting Magic Missile, too, you know. Right, that's true, uh, I'm, but I'm holding on my spells, because you only have a few of them. That's true, you might, you you know, might, you might need those later. And I want to be able to use Shield, because... Yep. You know. No, fair enough. <laughs> yep. um, yeah, so I'm just going to um, hurl a Force Projectile at that dude. Gotcha, okay. That's your dex to hit, you're just trying to hit him, right? Uh, no, 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 it's... Uh, are you trying to grab him or just throw a bolt of energy at him? Just, just, just throw a force bolt, bolt at him. You're just trying to hit him. You don't have to do the grab first. You're just trying to strike him. So what do I roll? 13. To hit, well, that plus your dex. Oh, 10. No. 10? Okay, that unfortunately does not hit him. So you go to hit him and you just, just miss him. Now, no one else sees anything. There's no visual representation. You just, just see like, my hand go out. No, exactly. No. And then like, like, <laughs> like see the orc's hair blow as the force just misses him. But it doesn't look like anything. Like it's like, pew, 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 you know? <laughs> flies past someone's head and their long hair kind of Watch. Yes, <laughs> exactly. That's exactly what that's happening. Gotcha. Para's turn. Uh, Para's going to shift the fire quite I should, clearly. I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Please. <laughs> I know you guys have had enough of the front line now. It's time to move the fucking wall. Mm -hmm. This is working great, though, so far, considering we put a large amount of our resources right in the middle of melee combat. You did. Yeah. You did which uh, was smart, because this is actually working. Is it? I mean, well, it's a great distraction, but... Everybody's right fucking there in yeah. the middle of all of them. You are eventually, like, I mean. This will eventually not yeah, work. The line is that yeah, yeah, not working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Line, yeah. I mean, this are, can't go on forever. No, you're being wounded down. You can't yeah. do two things at once. Yeah. 10 points down in the health, you know, like. Yeah. <laughs> the better plan. My point being yeah. would be to avalanche your base, mm -hmm. killing all the enemy that's trying to break into it. <laughs> right. Like a, via drag mage. <laughs> right. But, uh, True too. Uh, you yeah. know, we didn't have snowy mountaintops. No, he didn't have snowy mountaintops to avalanche the base. No. <laughs> everything had to be springtime around here. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Um, it was winter when they were hunting for the Yeti. Well, that doesn't help us either, does no, it? No, it doesn't. No, it didn't really he help them either. <laughs> 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 all right, beasties. Okay, uh, yeah, they're all just gonna, you know, charging with the line over here. Others, I'm just gonna. That's annoying. Or hey, stop moving. Yeah, through the fire. Can you be stupid enough to run through the fire? I'm like... gonna say, well, these two are gonna be coming up like this, and they start becoming like this. I'm gonna say there's ogres coming in from the back as well. Oh dear. Yeah. So Can you guys you not are... tighten up the shield and just make a column around all of you? Instead I mean, being a not without fucking burning arc. you. That's why it's the at problem the distance is it causes that it is. Damage, yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Start burning. It's safer. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, guys. Oh, wait, why? Why is he Brannock all, 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 all of a sudden? Yeah, There's too many NPCs. I'm getting lost. Burning you alive, though. All right. <laughs> right. Out of here. Out of here. Yep. Same exact thing. He's just going to turn and be like, "Oh, well then." <laughs> that's going to be a hit, and that's going to be a hit. But unfortunately, the first one. He rolled a one. Yeah, yeah, well, but he also missed on the set. Well, no, because something's got to happen. So on his first roll, let me just go on my random chart here. Hang on. Oh, my God. Breaks his arm. <laughs> Ow, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick no, through it. He got actually lucky. He breaks the weapon, so he snaps that first arrow because the bow can't break. So the arrow. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, not yeah. bow can't Whoa, break. No, no, dude, no, no. How, no. what is he doing? No. He, you know, he pulled back and just, just like, like 17 well, times in a row. He's <laughs> broke it. He's pulling Jeez. so fast that he just like smacked the, the first arrow on the side of his palm and just shattered the whole top off of it. And, yeah, and just yeah. then dropped that one yeah. and pulled the next one and kept on moving. But once in a while, it's just too quick for himself. <laughs> so he shot, he broke one arrow, but he killed these two. I wonder what his rate missile usage actually is. Well, right now he's firing three per round. 
Well, but I mean, but some like, of these, hot, though, as you've seconds. said, he'll just slap to the bow and will explode into well, the splitter. That's the first time <laughs> it happens. How many of these things is he doing? Yeah. Like, I, I mean, wonder how many shots he's, he's actually making. Right now, he's currently firing one every two seconds. One, <laughs> two, two. One, two. One, two. With perfect accuracy. <laughs> Perfect. So draw, fire, draw, fire, draw, fire with perfect accuracy. Okay, Brannick. Uh, Brannick is just going to then shift around so he can take the first one that comes in. All right, uh, Rena. I'm gonna shoot that one. Good. Uh, 14, that'll hit. No, 15. Nine plus six? 15. 15, 15. yes. Like God, math. What's wrong with me today? <laughs> Lord. Uh, seven. Yeah, that'll actually do it. So Chuck cool. dead. Now he's back in the ranks. So here somewhere. <laughs> All right. Torvik's doing whatever he's doing. And then Dora. It's a thousand people. They're going to keep coming. Okay. How many have we killed? <laughs> we a lot. We should have been I, I had actually started thinking that it was, we probably should have had tallies for everyone. But <laughs> There's, there's going to be a general XP for this encounter. Don't worry. <laughs> Yeah. We could have been. But it'd be kind of cool. It'd be like, you'll count like, well, yeah, there are about a thousand. You should have been keeping track of your kills, man. I know. <laughs> we need to keep notches. Nope. Okay, um, that only counts as one. <laughs> so you acted, you did whatever yep. you had to do. Okay, um, I can use force through the fire, I'm assuming. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, I'm going to force at that uh, Cyclops right there. He's going to like smack him in the face smash as he comes in. Face. Nice. Smash him in the eye. <laughs> 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 Flash his eye in my mind. Do you want to try and do that? Crush it. Do you want to try and crush his eye? All right, I want you to roll uh, constitution first. Uh, 21. Right. Oh, okay, you got him. Oh, come on, Okay, wait. so you wait, just see, like, this thing, like, like, stop and grab his face, and now I need your charisma versus his strength. Oh. <laughs> oh, I rolled the natural 20. Oh. Yes! Oh. Yes! So you just face see. shoots out a fountain of blood. Yeah. yeah, he's holding his eyes, and all of a sudden there's an explosion of blood and mucus through his fingers, and there is an earth-shattering scream as he drops to his knees and just absolutely in terror. Scream, let's roar. I because no, a scream. This because this scream? this creature now I would want to make friends with everybody. This creature would normally <laughs> roar. But this one lets out a blood-curdling scream. You've never seen anything that big and that strong sound well, so scared I and still in so much pain. I still haven't seen any of this. Yeah, well, fair <laughs> yeah. enough, yeah. All right, so well done. Right. That is yes. well disabled. I am the psychops. It, <laughs> now, you feel things. There's, feel, there's feedback when you do these things. You felt the eye crush. You felt what that would have felt like, and it was unpleasant. To say the least. So you're just. Well, I wouldn't Ooh. do this to a human or to, to like a thing I well, thought was real. Well, jump to conclusions. You're know, like if you go to pop a big zit <laughs> and you don't really expect it to gush mm -hmm. and it does and you get that weird, like, like you almost feel like you're gonna vomit for a second, but it, it passes and you just kind of break out in a little bit of sweats. <laughs> That's what this feels like. Ew. Para. <laughs> Para's gonna. Para's gonna try something. So he's gonna concentrate. And he fails. So it's like he Para was trying down. to split the fire evenly between the two and faltered, and that comes down. Mm. There is no fire to protect you this round. Uh, beastie, sir. All right, uh, they're charging in. Yep. This is where it's going to get. One, Ow. two, one, two, one, two, one. To a para. This that one one's is hurt. Roar, 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 roar. Charge, charge. Fuck. This one's coming in through the back. Mm. All right. <sighs> Two swing is auto meal, right? Yep. Right here. Two swing auto meal. That's going to be a hit. That's going to be a miss, thank God. Ooh, it just kind of like grazes them, like takes a little bit of, you know, but I am too fast. A two attack <laughs> Brannock, miss. Hit. So, Brent, so the first one comes in and Brank basically just forearms him back. And the other one stabs underneath his armor. Pretty deep. You, 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 you see Brent kind of, oh, as a blade slips underneath his left shoulder. Uh, two of them are firing at you. They're swinging at you. That's going to miss you. That is going to miss you. So you are kind of fall back and they both clang swords like right in front of your face. <laughs> two swing for Para. <laughs> one hits Para. One 
misses because he has a mithril coat. Of That's right, three. one misses Para. So another blade sinks, oh, another blade sinks into Para deep, and he's got two huge gashes on this side now, and Para is- No, he only no, has he one. This is the leg. Oh, right, I'm sorry, you're right. It's only leg. one gash, but it basically reopens like right where he healed, so <laughs> it's like, ah. Oh. Uh, and uh, then- And then two ogres punch yeah. him out. I still need okay. to fix my finger. <laughs> yeah, a 24 is going to hit you? Yep. All right, the first one, you basically, a club comes down on your shoulder and you feel your whole side kind of collapse. It almost feels like your shoulder breaks, but it doesn't. You take 13 points of damage. Just a second. I need to roll constitution. Okay. Uh, eight. You hear a crack. It just sounds like his shoulder separates and you hear like, and then his eyes roll back and he collapses. Sion! Said Brannock? Brannock. Oh, sorry. Sion! <laughs> sorry. Brannock's like this. Whoa! Yeah, you're playing little... your cards here, yeah. Brannock? Yeah. What's going on? Yeah. I'm, I'm trying. <laughs> oh. just, there's too many NPCs. Para cries out. Sion! Does he hulk out? <laughs> not yet. Fuck. But, okay, you, but uh, maybe. <laughs> that might not be good for you, though. Well, not well, you're fine. I'm Me. in the middle of a catapult. Yeah. <laughs> All right, out of mill. He drops his bow. He just flat out drops it and just goes to attack. He's going to stab this one and that and that one. Hit. Hit. All right. Uh, this one, he stabs in the shoulder. This one right through the thing's neck, just in the shoulder, and then this cuts this thing clear across his throat, and this one drops to his knees and dies. All right, uh, Brannock. Brannock is going to, oh, I think Brannock gets a special ability here. Yeah, Brannock just cuts clean through two of them, cuts one in half and carries through deep into the side of the other, dropping both of these right here. Uh, yeah. Okay, um, Top around. Uh, Rena. Okay. No? no, Automel acted then. Oh, yeah. Brannock. See, the pair is in dire straits. <laughs> so it's well, the pair is in dire straits, and you just saw him True. lose his shoulder and collapse unconscious. So okay. he's currently down. Okay. Yeah. Never mind, we're addressing this concern. <laughs> that seems like a wise choice. <laughs> pair can, can deal for right now. Uh, 19. Let me, me pause you for a sec and remind you that you do have that ability to cause huge amounts of damage while taking less a negative five to hit. Oh, yeah. You could also combine that with your luck power anytime you want to. True. Just so you know. Oh, well, I can't do that now, but. Fair enough. <laughs> Just so you know next time. Right. That definitely hits. Has that one been hit before? It has not been hit before. Okay. These two are fresh. All right. Uh, nine. Okay, so you just boom, you right into its neck, growls, and you have its attention. Okay. All right, Torvik's doing whatever he's doing. Doro. Grrr, snarl, snap, snap. Claw. All right, my turn. Uh, Rogue constitution to try to wake up. 13. Uh, your eyes flicker to consciousness. You're on the ground. There's blood in your eyes, and there are two ogres like rawr, like right above you. I am going to uh, use my inspiration point and knock their heads together. Ooh. Okay. All right. I need you to roll Constitution. Both of them are seventeens. Uh, nice. So twenty. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You're able to grab both of them just fine. Now roll strength against against them. Oh, you're so damn lucky. 18. Nice, and I rolled a one. Okay. So you slam both of their heads together. The first one, okay, and they both rolled threes. You slam both their heads two, two together, and the first one just goes boom and just punches the other one in the face, and the other one lunges at him and wraps arms around his throat, and they're just like tearing at each other they're right now. They're fighting each other now. Yep. It's like, yes. Yep. <laughs> I love this shit. Yep. Well done. All right, Pat. Take a point of inspiration for that back. <laughs> oh, no. Well done. <laughs> yep. Para? Yeah. Para would ignore every everything else, and he's like, I'm so sorry. And you just feel hands uh, around you. It's okay, I'm wearing like, a control. Like he basically, yeah, he, basically he, he just, he comes up behind you and he holds you. And he just whispers, and he just whispers. Hug. I'm, hug. And, he just, and he just kind of whispers, you know, into your ear. I'm so sorry. And he kisses you on the cheek as we erupt into flame. Aww. You're 
incredible pain. It's like, ah, yeah, really cute. So romantic. <laughs> I love you so much. Take back 22 points of damage. Well, if that heals sucks. you, then you're fully, yeah, fully you're healed. fully healed up. You feel energized as well. Beasties. <sighs> it's five foot step to you. Attack, attack, attack. You feel fed te- oh! <laughs> <laughs> What did you roll? What did you roll there? I rolled a 20. Well, I, oh, no, I'm sorry, I rolled a 17. Right, so I can activate my shield. Ah, do you wish do you wish to? <laughs> right, it's like you feel great. You see at the last second a blade coming for you and just boom, it's teeth <laughs> off your shield and your eyes crackle with energy as you focus <laughs> them on him. Right at him. <laughs> Miss. Miss? Okay, so Brennick just elbows that one off. Uh, Adamil dodges it, and these two attack one for one. That's gonna miss you. Oh, uh, that's gonna hit him. Mm -hmm. Wait, so, who, who were you hitting? Para. He has 13. This yeah, is... but they get a plus oh, one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, so Para sees it and just like, ah, you know, oh, takes another you know cut to his shoulder, but he's not dead, but he is hurt. Para is still bleeding, his leg isn't healed. He chose to heal you instead. No! Yep. <laughs> you yep. shouldn't have given me 22. Now you're okay, yeah. so now you can react and help take care of him. Nope. It's, These two fix are the still, roar. they're actually moving away from you guys and fighting. This Cyclops goes to break them up, and this one comes in, he's going to be able to attack next round. Not that he can see us. Oh, right, he just had his <laughs> eye right. smash. So this one, I'm going to take this one out of combat. He's not really doing much of anything. There are more coming in, obviously. So orcs, orc, 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 and orc. Ogre, ogre. Okay. Um, we're handling this semi well. So is that you're not dead. I'd say you're doing great. <laughs> okay. So I think are we at the top of the round now? Is yeah. Yep. Yes. Okay. Ottoman. Ottoman's <laughs> going to take a step back and pick up his bow at the same time and fire, fire, fire. Miss. Hit. Miss. Okay. So miss, miss, and I'm assuming he's going to kill it. But let's roll just to make sure. No. If even if, if he rolls a one, it's dead. So boom, it's dead. Okay, Brannock. Brannock is going to slice at this one, hit, and two to six, it's dead. Okay, so he cuts that one down. <laughs> okay, Reno. Addressing the one right in front of me. And that's smart. <laughs> so point blank, so advantage, but I, oh, I've had disadvantage. I forgot to roll disadvantage last time. That's okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, you're, so yeah, you're it cancels this. out this time, yeah. disadvantage, disadvantage, so 20. Nice, that'll hit. Okay, so 10. Oh, dead. Awesome. Tor Torvik is doing whatever he's doing. Mm -hmm. Actually, at this point, you guys have stopped hearing the growls, and you just hear a horrible crack and a fling as you see a catapult arm flip up, and the whole thing basically flip itself over and smash into like three or four orcs. And you're like, whoa! <laughs> Which one was it? The first one. one. Closest to... Yep. Okay. All right, then, Doro. You then the, this would be my last one. Yep. So now I leave the catapult. Yep. And all three of these have been sabotaged. Yep. Um, Where are you headed? You saw that catapult flip over. Even you saw this. It was loud and caused a lot of explosions. Like, and that, but that was the first one, though, wasn't it? Yeah. It was the first one closest to the battle. And I have a movement. Yes. How do I take two movements in a round? You can't. You can't do that at take all. One movement in a round. But you can do your dash movement. You can go dash. as far as he can see. Correct. So yeah. I wanna, now that you look back, what I'm trying to do is get to a point where I can see the furthest catapult and then work towards the group. Well, you could teleport on top of the battle of, of the battle ram. I mean, there's a couple people on the ram. That's a higher vantage point. Are they on it, though? There's two hammering, you know, hides down on. Well, actually, they'd be getting down it. No, they're still they're still two working because they're in front of the battle. So there's two of them Even on top. All this is happening. Yeah, not every single person is rushing in there. I mean, there's some that conflict. Was, I wonder what they're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> like, what are, what are yeah. you doing down there? That one's making fire. Yeah. Look at that. Like, we have a job to do, Thag. Keep hammering. Explode? Oh, should we help them? <laughs> Stay working. Thag. Stay up there. An army works when they follow their orders, Thag. Keep hammering. <laughs> <laughs> I just, but that eye just exploded. Like, I can't get over it. They're Stop. killing Cyclops is left and right. Well, we're not going to be able to help him if this hammer doesn't go, so hammer away. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. They're all very industrial. <laughs> uh, like I said, I want to try and teleport to the furthest catapult. Yep, you can uh, see the first one up. that just got wrecked. You can't see beyond that. So you can teleport on top of to it. Get, if I got on top of the one that I'm in now, do you, could I see it from base 
on how you're saying yes. low ground, high ground stuff? Yes, and you could dash could on top of it because you have a dash movement. So you could like scramble on top in, with oh. your dash movement. Then, so in a way, then I can do two movements. Yes, you can. So I want to do that. Yep, that's fine. So you dash on top. Because it's a bonus. Right. Got it. Okay, so do all that, okay? Get up on top of the catapult, and then I want to teleport with my spyglass yes. to the furthest catapult. Okay, what's the first one? The only one you can see is the first one that he's disabled. It's all I like can't a big. see beyond with the other two? No, because not how the ground slopes, because you rolled, you rolled oh, badly. Of the... Yep. Fuck. If I got on top of the battering ram, would I be able to see the other two catapults? I mean, you don't know from this angle, but right. I mean, this you can definitely see this is one. That if you got on top of the first one, you would be able to see the others. But you have to get to that first or one so to see the others. This was not the plan though, of course. No, no, no. I'm just gonna get on the catapult and maybe right. I'm, like fuck this up too. All right, so, <laughs> so you vanish from where you are and you appear on the broken catapult kind of on top. It's like a little bit unsteady, but you're ah, right? And you're looking daggers. and you can see like, it looks like Torvik is already in the second one because there's like a bear inside the thing, swiping and just tearing off orc faces as he's like, arr, 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 and like chewing on the ropes and everything. So it looks like he's got the second one down. Okay, yeah. okay, good. Uh, so we just need to try and get to that third one. Uh, I think I'll do the same uh, self-sacrifice and, uh, and force this guy Something yep. back that way. Lover. <laughs> do you have Alfred's card? 19. That's gonna work. Okay, go ahead and roll uh, damage on him. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, because you're just striking him, right? Right. Yeah. Thirteen. So yeah. Yeah. You feel his. You feel his cave. You 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 as you push on him, you feel his whole chest just cave in, and you feel his organs crunch and pierce as shards of bone tear through his own own body and his crumpled form. Is cool. Of course, it's replaced this. They're all coming in. <laughs> you know, right, well done up. and dead. Yeah. Crumples to the floor and then gets uh, back up, and he's totally fine. <laughs> Para, there's so. It, there's one there, right? Yeah. yeah, but that's... Oh, but Para is so is so hurt and doesn't have a, a, a direct Heal line. yourself, Para, please. Yeah, so Para's going to heal himself and try and... Well, he can't, he no, can't, he can't do both. fix yourself. Just fix yeah. yourself. Stop Just trying to fix yourself. 20 things at once. I assume Zion would say something. <laughs> oh... He sees him start splitting his attention. Babe, just <laughs> babe, fix yourself. Okay. Stop this. He goes. Check yourself before you wreck it. And he heals himself, but then you see his eyes kind of roll back and he collapses. He's done too much mm -hmm. and he has fallen unconscious. All right. Mm -hmm. Beasties. Oh, God. Okay. So this one's like, you know. Like, and they all turn, but that's the whole round. But they're all refocused now. And this one's going to swing at you. Eight's going to miss you. Yeah, you know what? This is the first time, like, you know, you kind of move back, right? Yeah, just like, like, kind of like deflect him with your stick. His brother trained him well. Yeah, no. All right, out of me. Hit. 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 All gone. Brannock. Brannock is going to... Kill the one next to Zion. Kill the Yeah. Not to tell you what your NPCs are doing. <laughs> no, but, no, but you're right. right. We know. That's yeah, precisely like everybody what he knows what's going on yeah. here. <laughs> oh, sure. All right, read Dead. Uh, Brannock is so covered in blood at this point. <laughs> this point. It's not even funny. Uh, that one. Shooting for the big guy. Smart. Yeah. Oh, 21. Yeah, that's a critical. So go ahead and roll double and then double your damage bonus. Okay. Oh, wait, no, I'm sorry. You're right. You roll once and right. just double the... Yeah, you're right. Twice you roll that once and it. add 12. So... 2 plus 12, right? Yeah, plus 14. Yeah, 14. So quite in the chest. It's coming. It's coming. <laughs> and just keeps coming towards you. But that's a solid hit. Brennan can help. Yeah. <laughs> uh, go ahead, Brennan. Get in the way now. Thanks, buddy. Your turn. Brennan, yeah. Have a good one. Okay, Torvik's doing whatever he's doing, which may be Doris, he's not at this point, I don't know. Uh, and then it's well, Doris. you're gonna teleport onto the third one, I imagine, right? Because if he's the taking care of the one. middle one, you're gonna take care of the furthest one. Right, but what I'm saying is Dora would see Torvik, so yes. he could describe that there's a bear. Yeah, there's a bear <laughs> clawing at this thing on the inside, <laughs> chewing on it. Yeah, yeah, he's just tearing orcs apart. You see like rope snapping and flinging off. He's doing a pretty good job. All right. Okay, Doris turn. Examination of this battering ram. He said they were throwing water on it and they're putting like hides on it to keep it from catching fire. Yes. Is this a battering ram system with two 
frame points where it swings. Yeah, so there's like a, them. there's like think of like so there's two think of like a house. points that the log hangs from. Well, think of like a house, right? So like a house and then a thing. So that forms like a shed yeah. open on either end. There's yeah. multiple you know, lines oh, of ropes. So it's more like a covered bridge with yes. wheels and a battery. Yes, that is per se. Well, less covered wheels and more just a bunch of sticks where they lift, where they lift it up, where they all run themselves. with it on the inside of it, drop it back down, and then all swing the battling ram at the same time. Uh, There's about a dozen people on and around it. On top of it. On top of it, inside of it, tightening ropes. I mean, there's no point where you'd be able to appear inside of it without being seen, probably. Gotta take, gotta take that castle at some point. They figured this will get done at some point. I'm storming the castle. They can't yeah, defeat. Exactly. There's no That's way. I he was going Every yeah. time I yeah. hear Billy Crystal's voice. There's um, no way they can defeat in their in their minds. There's no way you can you. It's just they can't defeat the whole army, as far as they're concerned. You're doing pretty well. You're doing yeah. pretty well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just keep coming at us in waves, bitches. Yeah. We'll go. It's been going pretty well so far. Well, not that well. <laughs> We're going to get us eventually. Yeah, eventually they'll wear you down. This is a little scary. Yeah. Right, yeah one little good worried. hit from an ogre at any at any time. If one of those cyclops, if that cyclops and those ogres both get there at the same time, and the other two ogres, it's going to be a little dicey. I mean, you know, Zion give the example of that, but you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I need to get to the furthest catapult. Like yes. I've said, I was from this battery. Concentration. <laughs> Damn it, Constitution. <laughs> We had to stop and let him fix it up. <laughs> you know, maybe maybe he'll get it. Uh, it's six. Oh my god. Okay. No, four. Okay. So you appear. So you appear and oh, and your boot, like the whole sole and heel of your boot, is firmly wedged into this piece of wood that you're now standing on, and you cannot move your foot. Lose the boot. I take my foot out of the boot. <laughs> okay, that's gonna take a round. Unless you just want to like slice the laces and pull it out, that's still around. It's still around. Yeah, so you just go shink and then just lose just the boot. Take, no, it's going to take around either way. I'm just going to take my foot out of the boot because I'm going to walk around without a boot on. Okay, yeah, I know. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So you, you, you get your wait, wait, wait. And people will be like, wait a minute. Shoe? Wait a minute. You don't, wear, you don't wear shoes. Oh, I don't. No, so this doesn't work at all. Oh, you're right. Um, hang on one second. It'd have to be more of a coat. Your head. <laughs> that, that would be a one. <laughs> It's the coat. It's the yeah. Only thing that's okay. Really dangling so there's the a whole tail of the coat, and it's like firm, like 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 at midway point, and then it's, it's dangling below it too. So not only is the coat like trapped, but like you're like you can't pull out of this. You're gonna have to just either drop the coat or rip the whole back, or just cut the whole back of it out. Cut the back. Yeah, that's what you have to do. So now it's like a half capelet. That's your back. <laughs> the whole side's open and torn. Um, this poor, this, this actually, poor coat, man. It's too bad. It's gonna have to take some time, but I'm. Angry now, so jacket cut. <laughs> now I rip myself out of the jacket and try to begin like ripping as much of the jacket out of it as possible, so I can then just take all the stuff and form it into one of those. A this knapsack. isn't a bag, but it's a bag. I, it's a knapsack. I, I mean, it's so wrecked at this point. I think you could just tear yourself free, grab the shreds, and tie it in a round. That's what yeah. I'm gonna do, and I'm just gonna carry it. Yep, fair <laughs> enough. Done and done. Okay, who's All next? Right, me. Uh, I'm going to kneel over Para and grab the air. Do grabbing, oh, like basically forming a shield around both of you. Yeah. All right, so you see Zion kind of kneel down and then you see like a weird shimmer in the air around him as some sort of bubble has appeared around him and Para. I'm gonna put you in the same space for right now. So you guys are shielded with at your current HP. Uh, 22. Gotcha. Getting pin all over my head. Oh, good thing he healed you just in time. <laughs> yeah, good yeah. thing. Uh, all right, Para. He gets to roll constitution. Right. Nope. Still out. <laughs> Wake up! It Sla really hurts. Slap, slap, slap. <laughs> water, water, <laughs> slap, slap, slap. Give a kiss. <laughs> all right. Uh, beasties. Aww, maybe it'll wake him up. Sleeping beauty. <laughs> beasties. All right. Beasties. Oof. 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 All right, so first, I need a perception roll from you. No. Okay, you don't see the two Cyclops gather on either side of Torvik's area that he's in. There's uh, been orcs that he's been fighting off. There's now two Cyclops that are there, and one of them thrusts a pretty big spear into it. And you hear a yell, and then you hear quiet. Three of them are going after Brannock. They saw him cutting down people like mad. Miss. 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 Okay. Three come in after Brannock. 
He knocks the first one back, kicks one in the chest, headbutts the third one. He's like, come on! These three go right for you. And all, ah, oh, wham! One hits the shield, one hits the shield. They're also, I mean, it's hard to miss unless they roll a one. They all hit the shield. How, okay, how does that work? So, they can't miss it. Right, right? so they're just taking away hit points. Exactly. First one, kind of, like, he didn't expect it and bounces off early, so he doesn't really get his full swing in, so take two off it. The other two see that and hack at the, sh at the shield. One takes five and one takes six. So you guys are seeing, like, <laughs> like these weird shimmers in midair as they're bouncing off the shield. <laughs> but Zion's holding it up. Doof, doof, doof. <laughs> That's gonna hit. Well, it, it would always hit, right? Well, he could he could roll a one. They oh, could always roll a uh, um, gotcha. AM one. Yeah, All right. gone. fourteen. Uh, yeah, it, uh, it dissipates. Okay, how much by? How many points uh, over? Extra five. So, I so five. ten plus five is fifteen. Roll a Constitution check at fifteen. I, I think we messed up. I had nine points left on the shield. Mm -hmm. They took off. 14. 14, something like that. Right. So it's five points over. Right. So five plus 10 is 15. Roll a constitution check at DC 15. Nine, nine. <sighs> Zion's eyes roll back in his head and he falls on top of Para. Oh dear. Oh dear. Yeah, Things they're just collapsed right there. Hit. Hit. All right, so he removes the three orcs in a horseshoe around you. All right, Brennock. Is that going to be enough with his big, big? Yeah, oh, you're lucky he gets a giant bonus to hit. Yeah. Okay, so he cleaves through the first two, and they drop. You and the, that one. Go to sleep, 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 go to sleep. <laughs> Pretty much. That's gonna hit. Something. Yep. <laughs> He's been hit before. He yeah. has. Okay. Six, nine. Yep. Okay. So chunk into his chest and he just claws it out and just growls at you. Right. Torbic is silent. Yeah. <laughs> There's no noise whatsoever coming. Well, we're all that. looking pretty rough here. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> Doro. Now that I've created a nice little mess in here <laughs> with this oil. Roll perception. No, oh, I might see it this time. 16. Yeah, you mean, as you're, um, as you like pull out the torch or whatever, or, or, or getting ready to hit the flint, right? Yeah. You look back to the circle to see them, and you see that two of them are collapsed, they're surrounded, more enemies are coming in, they're looking really in bad shape. Yeah. What do you, what Going do you do? I never was really taking my time during this. No, fair <laughs> enough. <laughs> uh, I'm a rush. Yeah, no, I would <laughs> like to begin ignition of uh, this catapult. Roll dex just, just to make sure you don't fuck and it up. And then, oh yeah. Bing. And then um, I would like to, yeah, sorry everybody. I go to where Torvik is. Okay, roll concentration. Tushin. Tushin. Damn it. 13. I thought that was like 20 A lot of buzzers this something. fucking game. A lot of buzzers. Uh, 15. 15. Okay, so you appear exactly where you want to appear, and there is just this giant, what looks like a plank, but it's a giant spear and it's ending jammed through Torvik and he is just like pale and gray and he reaches out and you hear Doro and then he just vanishes. Thank you for joining us for another episode of God's Fall. There are notes and maps for this episode online at godsfall.com, and you can follow us on Twitter at godsfalldc. The majority of music and sound effects you heard in this episode are provided by our good friends, Battle Bards. BattleBards recently launched their website with a massive catalog of music, sound effects, background ambient tracks, and full NPC scripts. Ah, a respectable customer. 
enormly our clientele are as unsavory as our grubs. Grub. Nosh. Food. Uh, take a seat. Everything you need to make your tabletop RPG sound every bit as good as God's Fall. Be sure to check them out at BattleBards.com. And before we go, you've probably noticed the new opening this week. Some more good friends at Party Roll Podcast absolutely savaged our old opening in a dead-on parody. I don't want to spoil it, but safe to say I could no longer do the old opening because all I could hear were farts. But before that happens, we'll have a huge shout-out to our friends at Battlefarts. Battlefarts creates high-quality music and sound effects for any of your role-playing needs. Hence the new opening, which tacked on a full three hours to my workload this week. Live with that, you heartless little monsters. So thanks for listening, people. We'll see you next week for episode 36 of God's Fall. (laughs) 